everyone. It's me, Morgan. And it's Zane. And we're here in the Ariel Foundation Teen Maker Space. And this week is our very first week of the Teen Summer Reading Program. If you guys want more information on that, watch our previous video um, to learn all you need to know. So this week we are making um, some Wes Anderson animal portraits. So let's jump right in. Oh yeah. Okay, you guys, so this week in your craft bags, you should have stuff for the Wes Anderson animal portrait. So you guys should have some paint um, in little paint pots, paintbrush. You should have maybe a few pieces of cardboard or something like cardboard that's really sturdy. Um, some felt pieces for the ears and then an assortment of like a bunch of different types of paper that we have hand selected. <laughs> it took a while. Um, and you'll also need a pair of scissors that we did not provide you and ask your shirts. Parents. Yeah, ask your parents, obviously. Um, and if you would like, just grab something that you can put some paint onto. And what else should you have? You should have these, which are a carton little things. So this is going to be for your nose, specifically for the animals. That's a cloth? Yes, <laughs> this is cloth. Yes, and so that's what we mean when it's on the instructions. This is your cloth material. And um, maybe get some water to like wash out your paintbrushes. Um, but yeah, that's it. So let's get started. So first, you have to kind of figure out what animal you want to do. We already decided what ours are gonna be. So I'm going to do a fox. Not uh, doing a cat. Yes, I'm gonna try to make mine a little like Fantastic Mr. Fox. If you've ever seen the movie or read the book by Roald Dahl, um, both are fantastic, obviously. I prefer the movie oh, yeah. because I'm a visual learner. <laughs> so I like to see everything. Um, but if you haven't watched the movie, check it out. It's super awesome. But right now I'm going to go ahead and cut some of my cardboard off. So my portrait's going to be a little shorter. I personally am just gonna stick with mine here. So I'm just gonna watch her do. That's doing totally here. fine. Yeah, I'm gonna just cut this, try to make it as even as possible. There we go. There, now it's more like portrait-like. And then you're gonna try to figure out what type of animal nose you're gonna go for. So since I'm using a fox, I'm going to use one that looks more like this, but you might have a few different ones, but you should have three different um, egg carton things. So you can make multiple animals if you like, but for now, I'm just gonna make a fox. So the first thing you need to do is kind of figure out where you wanna put it. But after that, before you glue this down, you're going to pick out your background color. So I already have some paper picked out. I really like this spooky one because I like spooky things. Of course. Um, yeah, of course, I'm a spooky gal. And what you need to do is just go ahead and cut it out. So um, Zane, could you hand me that Sharpie over there? Yeah. And keep in mind, you don't have to necessarily use any of this paper either. If you want to also go ahead and just paint them as well, yeah. you're more than welcome to do that. Yes, you can always paint the background. So what are you going to do for your I'm background? actually going to paint it. Oh, okay, sweet. So you can go ahead and get started with the paint colors that you want. So that is the first step. So go ahead and cut that out or go ahead and paint it. And you're going to be using the Mod Podge that we have uh, given you in your bags as well and your paintbrush to glue this down. But I will show you that in a second. Okay guys, so I went ahead and finished this. So this is my background. I think it looks really great. Zane is actually cutting some of his off. I realize it's gonna be a lot of paint. Yeah, so it was gonna be a lot of painting. So he's gonna make his a little bit smaller so he doesn't have to paint so much of it. Um, but while he's doing that, I'm going to keep telling you guys what to do next. So 
once you have your background color and again you can like add cool stuff around here like you could even add a sweet border which actually I might do because I saw some example photos which I encourage you to look online for um, just type in animal portraits cardboard uh, egg cartons and a bunch of stuff should pop up so I kind of like how it looks a little wonky because I think that's a big part of Wes Anderson's style uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make like an outline border and it's okay if it looks a little crazy or wiggly Okay, so I went ahead and did a sweet border. I think that looks really cool. Oh yeah. Especially being black and orange, like Halloween. So next, you're going to kind of map out like where you want to put your animal. So you could put the whole entire animal, like you could start up here and have like his body, because again, your piece of cardboard can be this big so you could even start up here and have the whole entire body like figure like a little cartoon um but I'm just gonna do a shoulder portrait so I'm gonna place it where I think a shoulders and nose would go so a little bit lower than halfway so I think right there would be good and I think I'm a product of one right about there awesome yeah I think that looks great so what you're gonna do is take your Mod Podge or if you have hot glue, again, that always works better. Um, but we have given you Mod Podge. So just kind of like layer it on a little bit thick, like around the top. So you want to touch it on every little corner like that. So once you kind of have it globbed on, not too much where it's like running everywhere, you gotta find a happy medium. And then go ahead and place it where you want it. And you can also draw it out first with pencil. I feel like that's definitely helpful for a lot of people. And then just place it there and then let it dry. It might take about 15, 20 minutes to dry. So if you want to like leave it alone and then come back, you definitely can. Um, or you can just keep working off of it as well. Um, we're going to let ours dry here for a minute, but we will meet you back here. Okay. Okay, guys. So we went ahead and let this dry for a few minutes just so we could like work with it and move it around and everything and it wouldn't fall off. Zane and I went ahead and drew out like kind of our shape that we want for the shoulders you can like see here with my pencil and i went ahead and drew some ears on there as well and then zane show us what you did with yours okay so it looks like zane made a shirt and i think you just like cut yours out like yeah on yeah the paper. i just had paper right here and then yeah. we just traced it and then we just cut it out yeah yeah okay so that looks great so the next step is picking out the shirt color. So I'm going to use, I think this blue. Maybe? Look pretty good. Yeah, I think that would look good. Oh, this black and white though looks really cool too. I can make him kind of like creepy. Maybe I could have like a black and white suit with like a blue tie or there something. There you go. Yeah, let me try that. So that is the next thing that you need to do. Um, Zane just went ahead and like made the shape already. Yeah. Um, I could do the same thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and just like place this right here and kind of get like an idea on the other side of this, like how far down, like you can see that it stops right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this onto the paper here. You can always make it a little bit bigger because you can always trim things off, but you can't add to it.
So I have that, but I kind of want to maybe have like a collar or something. So I just might draw on with a Sharpie in a little bit, but I like how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and Mod Podge it right onto my little fox. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is make the tie. So I'm gonna take this nice blue that I like and make kind of a tie shape. I think drawing it on first would be a smart idea though. So I personally don't wear ties, but I'm pretty sure they look something like this. <laughs> I came out a little whack, but I'm pretty happy. I think, I think wacky in this case looks pretty good though. So I think this would fit him right. That might be, maybe that's a little too big. I'll make two just in case. Oh, we're going for wacky. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mine is like clown size. All right, yeah, that looks like a tie. Might be a little weird, but, but you know what? I could have made it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Then. Sure. That looks good. Thanks. Yeah, here, show them, show them yours. That's how uh, like right now. mine turned out here. Yeah. So if you want your um, ties to pop like a little more, like I'm like with uh, his shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and put like some sharpie or marker. You could even use black paint like around the outline, just to give him more of like a cartoon look to it. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Once I get my tie on there too. And then you could do the same thing, but again, it's your sure. creation. You can do whatever you want. Actually, yeah, I think I'm like. There you go. Sometimes I have good ideas. All right, I'm gonna try this tie. Oh, well, it's a little big, but you know what? I don't care. It can go off frame. I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's a little big, but. I like how it looks a little bit more than the other one, so I'm going to stick with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and Mod Podge the back of it right onto my Mr. Fox. Awesome. That's looking pretty sweet. Oh yeah. Looks like he's in a western or something. Okay, so the next part is the painting part. So this is where we're going to paint the ears and your little snouts here. So I definitely need some orange in mine. Hmm, orange background, good choice <laughs> for my orange fox, all right. So maybe I'll make him a little uh, like darker orange than normal. And then Zane, actually no, I got some brown over here, never mind. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're all good. They do need probably some black paint. So this is when your creativity really comes into play. I'm gonna wash out my brushes because there's just Mod Podge all over it. Okay, so once you have your colors all selected, you can mix them together and see how look. Yeah, I want like an orangey brown color for my box. And just make sure you make enough mixed paint that you can keep the same color. So first thing you need to do is go ahead and paint a layer right onto your cardboard carton. Be really careful not to get it on its clothes. And you can always paint the carton before you glue it on, but you can do it in any order. Just make sure you do the background first. Okay, once you have your little cardboard and cartons painted. Go ahead and do the ears. Um, 
I'm just gonna paint them in for now, but I'm also going to see if I can use the felt over here, maybe make some felt ears as well, and see if I can maybe paint the felt the same color as the fox's face. So with your felt that you have, just make some ear shapes. So I'm gonna make some triangular ones for this guy. I'm gonna see how it looks when I put some paint on top of the felt. Actually, it looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down into place. So I'm gonna, again, take my Mod Podge, and just put a little bit on the back of the felt like this. And the felt will absorb a lot of the Mod Podge, so it's all right if you have to layer it on a little bit. Once you have your ears glued on, and you can paint them if you want, and I'm going to go ahead and finish painting mine, and I'm more of just dabbing the paint onto the ears. Alright, I have my ears finished. Except I want to add a little bit of pink inside of my ears, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to pretty much make them the exact same way as I made these, but I'm just going to make them a little bit smaller. Take a piece of the felt, just kind of make little rounded triangles. I think that's gonna be good. And then I take my Mod Podge again and just go ahead and jab it onto the back of the little pink ears. Stick them right on there. There you go. Next, we're gonna paint on the little snout. So it looks like Zane's already doing some snout painting over there. Oh yeah. There. <laughs> We're gonna have some snout action. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's making a calico from his uh, little cat. Yep. Modeling it after my little kitty. Yes. Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson. <laughs> okay. So for a fox, it has a little bit of a white muzzle on their face and then the neck part is white as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some white paint. This is why it's really beneficial to have a picture of what you're doing um, while you're working on this stuff so you don't have to do it from memory, but hopefully I can remember what a fox looks like a little bit. You guys can have like black on the whiskers here? Oh yeah, you could definitely do black whiskers. Okay. Or you could even draw them on with like a pencil or like a sharpie or something. That's what I'm probably going to do for my noses. I might just do like a Okay, yeah. And if you're going to use a Sharpie um, on parts that you have painted, make sure they are completely dry or the Sharpie will like smudge and kind of leak a little. I got kind you. of, you know. All right. Well, I think I'm yeah. going to, I'll just work on the ears one way. Okay. That's a good idea. All right. I'm just yeah. going to do the same thing that you did yeah, right go, here. Yeah, go right ahead. And then, yeah. All right. So the snout part. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the eyeballs. So I'm just gonna do little 
like little black dot eyes. So I'm gonna take the end of my paintbrush, like this side, and just go ahead and dot it on. So I think maybe like right here, be good. Again, if you don't like the placement that you pick, you can always repaint it. Just let it dry and then try again. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna add that I just thought of? What's that? I want like a little tail behind him, hey, kind cool. of. So I'm just gonna take my paint that I already have here and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it on. So for a fox's tail, I'll do it on this side. There we go. So after that dries here in a second, I will add the little bit of white onto it. So while all of this is drying, I'm gonna go back over with Sharpie here. And then outline is tie. Okay, said I would in a second. Touch it. There we go. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do is paint on the white tip of this tail. Okay, so this is the final step. So you need to add on the nose and the little mouth part. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a black paint for the nose part. I'm gonna set it right up here. And again, you can use a Sharpie for this part or you can just use your black paint. So once you have that, you're gonna want to, depending on the animal, draw a little line from the nose down. And I would definitely suggest using a paintbrush or a Sharpie. Um, for this part because you got to be really careful and then to draw on the little mouth give him like a little smile There we go. That's looking pretty darn cute. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. What do you he's got some like chubby think? cheeks. I know he does have chubby <laughs> cheeks. Maybe I should give him some like little whiskers or something. <laughs> That'd be cute. Little fox whiskers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Foxes are very cat-like anyway, so were great. There. Even some cute little whiskers. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I think that looks great. And then I'm gonna think of a name for this guy. So. Okay guys, so I have mine all done now and it's all dry so I can shake it and move it around and it looks pretty awesome. I haven't thought of a name for him yet, but also in your uh, craft bags, you guys should have a, a like two pieces of paper that will help you create your own character. So that's where you can like come up with names. You could do a storyboard, um, their origin story even. So we hope that you use that and have fun making these. So this is mine. I'm all done. And then it looks like Zane is finishing up here and we'll show you his. And here is supposed to be my cat. Wilson. Wilson! <laughs> She's super cute. It's a girl, by the way. Yes. <laughs> yes. Quite but, chubby. Yeah, here, we'll like hold them up like this to see how they look, which they look fabulous. More like fantastic. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe I missed that one. But all right, guys, we hope you enjoyed these and have fun making them, and we will see you guys next week. See you guys. See ya.